briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1979, the United States Army Court of Criminal Review heard the case of United States v. Guilford, which centered on the differences between military and civilian trials. The case questioned the constitutionality of specialized members and procedures in military courts martial. The defendant, a member of the military, was convicted of rape and received a dishonorable discharge, five years of confinement at hard labor, a reduction in grade, and forfeiture of all pay. The court ruled that the evidence proved beyond a reasonable doubt that a rape had occurred, rejecting the defendant's argument that the complainant had consented. The defendant then appealed the case, claiming that his constitutional rights had been violated. The appeal raised four questions, with the primary focus on military due process concerning the size and unanimity of courts martial. Upon review, the court determined that there was sufficient evidence to support the conviction, despite the defendant's claims of consent and lack of penetration. Ultimately, the court upheld the guilty verdict and sentence, finding that the military trial was constitutional. This ruling validated the defendant's conviction and sentence, underscoring the unique nature of military trials in comparison to civilian jury trials. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.